on the weekly time frame for VeChain after pulling back to the 20 weekly moving average at 2.2 cent we have now completely retraced the, the the drop basically so we came down we've retraced that we've done a 100% retracement we've actually flipped it bullish so this was once a very big red candle looking ugly like this it looked like oh we're about to invalidate it we're about to engulf this last week is it going to be a fake out but of course we never make judgments on an open candle. We see that the first part of the week, it came down and for the final part of the week, it's reversing. So this is why we can anticipate maybe the first half of a week is the wick being created. Just like this red one, it was going up first, breaking out. Wow, we're bullish, we're above the 20 weekly. No, before the week ended, boom, dump, continuation lower. So with a lower low, you're meant to actually put in a lower high over here and continue lower. This is what we call a Fibonacci retracement. So from the top to the bottom, can you see the golden pocket is over here? This is actually meant to act as resistance because if I go over here on the left, you see this tool over here, that is the Fibonacci tool. Now, if I click on that, can you see it says Fib Fibonacci retracement. So what is, what is the whole point of this tool? The whole point of this tool is to measure a push, doesn't matter which direction it is, but we know nothing goes up or down in a straight line. Even when we're going down, we go up. Even when we're going down, we go up. Even when we're going down, we go up. But are we actually creating something called the reverse wave? That is what we're potentially seeing over here. The reason being is that when you have a push down, the Fibonacci retracement tool says that this here is the level you retrace to before continuation lower. Of course, we can put in a higher low here, get above the golden pocket, we've created the reverse way for continuation the opposite way now, because this has got a second name for it. Only when you close above the golden pocket and hold it as support and continue, it's now called a completely separate, different name, reversal wave tool. So this over here, is the Fibonacci retracement tool. You measure a push, it retraces into the golden pocket, it continues lower. But in that off chance, and it can happen, go on the 15 minute time frame happens almost every day. But on the higher time frames, it doesn't do it as much. It needs to be bullish, of course. It depends on the market we're in. If this is a bull market, that's probably why we're pushing through it now. Whereas beforehand, in every retracement, in every retracement, we were going to the golden pocket and getting rejected. So is this really early signs that we're flipping from bear market into bull market? Because at every moment in the bear market, uh, we can even, so as we're coming down, it's retracing to continue lower, correct? However, we can also say this is a push up. It's meant to retrace into here and then continue higher. And it's going through creating the reversal wave and continuing lower because it's a bear market. So. Could this be early signs of a bull market? Because we're pushing down, this is a fib retracement tool, just as the whole bear market, we're pushing down, retracing, continuing. Pushing down, retracing, continuing. Do you understand that? Pushing down, retracing, continuing. Only over here have we stopped doing so. So is this the beginning of the bull market? Well, the weekly moving averages, when you're above the 20 on any time frame, this is signaling an uptrend. So the fact that to, uh, in the, this week itself, this was a massive red candle looking like that with a lot of bearish momentum. You ran into the golden pocket now as the reversal wave. You now want to hold it as support, and that's what the 20 weekly moving at oh, the 20 weekly moving average is saying over here. So going forward, hold that, hold the golden pocket, hold the 20, and we will continue to three and a half cent, which over here is our range high. So that's why I've drawn this red box. But what can I, what I can actually do right now, because we're pushing through this, I can flip it into a green box. So going forward, if we ever come towards this, it should act as support. And that's what we've seen here on the weekly time frame. Now let's scale over to the lower time frames. What I would say though is that the 786 fib can also be the deepest zero trade. So yes, we mark out the gold pocket. But you can actually go to the 786 and remember we say we need to hold this as support to continue we've done that already over here so we need to see the follow through you need to see us closing above the 786 now otherwise we've got a risk of losing this and continuing lower and it just means that this still was a fib retracement tool and we're continuing lower we would have to hope for a higher low somewhere to try and push through again and continue higher but yeah for the moment let's target towards the weekly 55 moving average towards three and a half cent and now if we scale down to the lower time frames such as the daily we in the last two days we bounced from this low so that's very nice to see 
that's the daily 20 moving average we're currently stuck below the 200 but above the 20 and what is also interesting it's those two fib levels the 618 and the 786 so we just have further confluence uh, that the moving averages are in the same location as the um, the Fibonacci levels. Now, if we scale down to the lower time frames, like the four hour over here, I'm going to retrace, you, you use this Fibonacci retracement tool. And in this case over here, we've created the reversal wave. Can you see that we've pushed down, we're retracing into the golden pocket to continue lower to the 200. It wasn't the case, we pushed through, confirmed it as support, and now we're pushing through the 786. So this is what I was just talking about on the daily, and we're seeing that follow through. So right now, just take out that one fib level, and we're continuing to 2.7 cent. Going forward, remain above 2.2, remain above the 200 moving average, and we should see three cents. And that, that was the lower time frame analysis, but we already knew from the higher time frame analysis that we should be heading onwards and upwards towards three and a half cent. And that was spoken uh, about when we were looking at the weekly time frame and the daily saying, okay, we just need to push through this as well as the four hour saying so. So really good early signs for the continuation onwards and upwards. If you didn't tune in to the last VeChain update, we we're looking at potential bull market targets for the future. It got a lot of traction in that video. So make sure you do check it out if, you've just, if you're new to the channel. Make sure you of course subscribe so you're kept up to date. We're almost at 5K. So I would really appreciate. We need 50 more subs. Let's try and push for it over this weekend. And that, yeah, that would be amazing to, to come back to next week for the next VeChain update. Thank you guys for tuning in. Like, subscribe and comment. What I would say is that this is looking bullish because if you've noticed, this is a shoulder, this is a head and this is a right shoulder. So we do have an inverse head and shoulder waiting to break out, but don't even worry about the target. I just gave you the fibs and it's saying, yeah, we're heading towards three cent. And yeah, you can see 2.7. Perfect. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Like, subscribe, and comment. But if you want me to teach this, head over to my Twitter. It's all linked underneath this video. Click the Louis Vibes one because the other one, Louis Crypto, is unfortunately blocked at the moment. I'm in the process of getting it back. There's no guarantee I get it. So in the meantime, I'm discounting my course and the mentorship on my new Twitter, Louis Vibes underscore. Message me for discounts on those. Thank you, guys.